All right. Uh, how do we do this? Hello, and welcome to Filling in the Gaps Summer Sale 2019. This is uh, Darren's picks for uh, what you should be looking out for in the summer sale. Uh, hopefully, all of these will go on sale. I'm doing this one a little bit early, like I did for the winter sale. These are just some predictions. If they are at a price that you would like to get them for, then go ahead and scoop these guys up because they're well worth your time. First of all, uh, my favorite game from 2018, which is uh, The Return to the Obra Dinn by Lucas Pope, uh, who, the guy who did Papers, Please. This game has a historic low of 15 bucks. I'm hoping that if it is that price, you should definitely pick it up. Uh, if it's lower than that, yeah, even even more so. It's This game probably has between 8 to 20 hours of play. It's For, for me, it was, a, a, it was in the 20s. Such a good game, such an amazing game. The graphics may not look great to you, but it's not about the graphics. It's about the amazing story, the um, the great soundtrack, which was actually done by Pope himself alone, which is incredible. Yeah, it's it's for someone to hit a home run with Papers, Please, and then to come back and hit another home run with oh, the Obra Dinn. That's, that's something special. Definitely give this one a check. Another game is Kona. Kona was really surprising to me. I got this in a bundle. Uh, but the historic low for Kona is one whole dollar. Um, Kona is a part walking sim, part kind of adventure game where you go around a town and you're in investigating uh, like a case of some local youths graffitiing the place and you're doing that for the town kind of uh, mayor. And when you get there to this snow laden kind of Canadian uh, little, little village, you find out that something very dark has, has happened. Uh, it's it's a really interesting game. I was quite surprised by it. Definitely worth a dollar, that's for sure. One of my favourite games of all time, if you've been listening to the podcast, is Inside. Inside now is hitting those really, really good prices. Uh, the historic low for Inside recently was $4, uh, and that's from its regular price of about 20 Inside is amazing. I liked it way more than Justin did. But yeah, if you like Limbo and side-scrolling kind of adventure platform games, Inside has a great story and... Uh, it's a, just a beautiful game. Next up is Super Hot. Super Hot is on this list because we're getting close to the the proper release date of uh, Control Mind Delete, which has always been promised for free if you own the base game. Super Hot's historic low is eight dollars, and so if you can get it for around that price again, you're basically getting a free DLC if you can pick it up before uh, that 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 launches. Rhyme is my next game that I want to recommend to you guys because Rhyme is really good. It's a very cute and really heartwarming kind of 3D adventure game where you control this little boy on this mostly deserted island and magical things to solve. And it's just a beautiful game, but it's pretty expensive at the base price. Um, the historic low was $2.39 for this game, but it doesn't regularly go on sale for that. Um, that was through a fanatical deal. So yeah, if you can, I think the base price for this is $30. So if you can pick it up for half price or maybe even a 75% off this time around, it's well worth it. I think the price puts a lot of people off because it is quite high and it's not very long, but it's such a great little game. Uh, and gives you the feels for sure. Next on my list is Beginner's Guide, mainly because it is quite a short game, but it's one that I think that everyone should play, um, especially if you're into like kind of you know, games about development or even just walking sims, weird kind of Stanley Parable stuff. The Beginner's Guide is quite pricey, so that's why I, I, I would recommend that you pick it up on a sale. Next up is a game that came right out of left field for me, is Call of Juarez. Um, the historic low for this is $1, but even at full price at something like 11 or 12 bucks. This game took me so much by surprise. It's, it's a first-person Western shooter game. The story is just really funny and, and it, it, it's basically like a, yeah, like a Wild West over the top story. The, the gunplay is so satisfying when you get all those headshots and you're reloading your six shooter and ducking out from cover to pop some guy in the face. It's it's such a brilliant game. I can't recommend this stuff. I can't believe that I, I didn't pick this up when it first came out. Yeah, definitely. If you've not played this one and you like first person shooters, you, you have to own this game. Another game that I'm going to recommend is The Council. The Council is uh, a kind of Choices Matter adventure game, third person uh, adventure game, where you are part of like this mysterious group of people 
you get to interact with people from history like George Washington and Napoleon and you have to solve this mystery on an island. It's pretty pricey. The historic low is 12 bucks, but there's a lot of gameplay. There's a lot of endings. There's a lot of uh, replay value for this game. If you're into these, it's almost like a telltale game, but I think it's better than a telltale game. It's got better choices and the choices do definitely seem to matter. The Hex. The Hex is done by the guy that did Pony Island. The Hex is a lot different from Pony Island, so uh, uh, like visually different, but it's definitely more of the same. It's It's got all that weird good stuff that we loved about Pony Island. Uh, the Hex has a historic low of $6. It's a fairly new game. Uh, hopefully it'll be going on sale for something decent to get more people interested in it because it's, it's really a fantastic little uh, puzzle kind of comedy uh, game. Another one that's quite pricey is Madorica Real Estate. That's a kind of escape room. It was released on Nintendo Switch and it got ported to PC. Um, it's made by a bunch of Japanese indie devs, like just two guys, I think. Uh, they've done a really great job. It's a weird, 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 quite difficult escape room, basically. Uh, the historic low is about 11.50. Yeah, if you can pick this up, it's one of those types of escape rooms that you can play on your own. You don't need to co-op it with anyone, but it's got some really interesting things that you can do. There's a PDF that you can print out that has all the puzzles uh, so you can kind of solve them offline. Definitely interesting, very sparse graphics wise. You basically have to walk through a house and exercise ghosts. Um, and you do that by solving puzzles to find spells to type into your keyboard to get rid of them. Pretty cool. Next up is No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky was on my list last time, I think as well, just because it's basically had another massive update. Um, and it usually goes for about 50% off. It might go for more in this summer sale, but the historic low is about $24. No One Sky is great. It's such a decent open world, open universe game. It's definitely come a long way from what it was released as, that's for sure. If you're still on the fence about getting this because of all the troubles that it went through during its original launch, trust me, the game is completely different now and is not only playable, but is yeah, decent. Basically now you can, there's a single player campaign in it. It's not just flying around aimlessly collecting resources. Uh, you can build bases, you can uh, fight with aliens, with other people. Uh, you can, yeah, it's just, a much, it, it feels much more like a, an actual game now. Yeah, so if you, if you remember the old Elite days or even the new Elite days, um, No Man's Sky is more of the arcade version of Elite Dangerous now. So if you're not really into the kind of simulation side of like the hardcore elite games and you just want something where you just fly around space and shoot stuff then uh, No Man's Sky is probably more of your thing. Next up is Shift Quantum. I got this for free. Well, no, I didn't get it for free. I paid a few thousand Chrono GG coins on it. But this game is so, so, so expensive for what it is. It's, it's 20 bucks off the bat which I think is asking a bit much. Even the historic low is 975 which I still think is a bit much. If this drops to like five bucks, Shift Quantum is, um, it's a really good puzzle game. It's one of those games where you can basically invert the screen. So black becomes white, white becomes black. And so all of the white stuff um, gets flipped over and becomes solid. All of the black stuff flips around and becomes empty space. And so you've got to navigate yourself from one end of the room to the exit. There's a bunch of power-ups you can pick up along the way. There's blocks that you can move around. It does get very complicated. There's a little bit of a story there as well. It's a good game, but it's just not $20 worth good. And finally is another little game that I got out of a bundle is uh, Wonder Song. Wonder Song is awesome. It's so imagine that you are the hero, but instead of swinging a sword, you sing to your enemies uh, or you sing to uh, solve puzzles. That's what Wonder Song is. It's a really cute game. It's got tons of humor. It doesn't take itself too seriously. It makes fun of the whole genre and it makes fun of itself. It's it's just a, it's such a fun little game to play. You are a bard and instead of slaying dragons and enemies to stop the end of the world, you've decided to find this song called the Earth Song, which you can sing and then save the world through song, which is a kind of nice little twist on that kind of story. So historic low for that was 1339. It's a kind of a new game as well. Hopefully it goes on sale for a little bit cheaper than that and you pick it up. Right. So that's my pickings. Happy shopping, everyone.